You know, I think Wales punches way above its weight in terms of firsts that can be attributed to this small part of the world. And the subject of today's film is a perfect example because Gawa was designated the first area of outstanding natural beauty in England and Wales on the 9th of May 1956. And that designation was ratified in December later that year. And why is that? Well, for the thousands and thousands of us who visit this wonderful part of the world, the answer is obvious. The glorious high cliffs, wonderful sweeping beaches, the close confined valleys, the open moorland, the small villages, and of course, the important, incredibly important wildlife and plant habitats. And of course, against this natural landscape, the human history is writ large. The official document declaring the significance of the AONB stated that the peninsula was of such importance as to require safeguarding as a national possession. One of the signatories to that document was the Olympic athlete Harold Abrahams, who of course starred in the film Chariots of Fire. One of the key players in the conservation of Gower's heritage was and is of course the National Trust. They acquired their first property at Thurber's Head in 1933 and there have been many subsequent acquisitions. Until today they are responsible for almost 75% of this glorious coastline perfectly shown here today with Worms Head and Rossilli. But there's no doubt that the main organisation who's been responsible for making Gower the place it is today was and of course still is the Gower Society. The society was started by four individuals in December 1947 when they met to discuss the formation and I quote the formation of a society to look for kindred spirits among the general public and these kindred spirits would study the natural and human history of Gower. The first public meeting was held in January 1948 when 125 people attended. I just love the quotes about how the society was set up. The original purpose was to encourage research and appreciation of Gower. But that was so rapidly subsumed by the threat of a holiday camp near Rossilli and the proposals including flattening some of the, the burrows. Well, thank goodness the proposal was rejected, but the society working with the local authorities had a wonderful boost from the number of people who were interested in protecting this incredibly important part of the world. Perhaps it's appropriate that we're filming here today in Oxwich, because Oxwich is really a microcosm of Gower. <laughs> For example, this wonderful church dedicated to St. Ifdid, which dates back to the 13th century, although, of course, it's one of the original Celtic sites in this area. The ANOB designations are really vitally important, but Gower is really all about people, old and young, like these two here. Hey, how long have you been here, folks? Two days. Ah, uh, really? So you've been camping out on the beach, have you? Yeah. What, what have you done? We've, we've been paddleboarding. Paddle paddleboarding? Wow, how far out did you go? Not too far. Not too far. Oh, brilliant. So, what do you think of Gower? It's brilliant. brilliant. Good. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. Have a great time. Thank you. Thank you. So, this short film is really just a taste 
of what Gower has to offer. And hopefully when the lockdown ends or eases, there'll be other opportunities to get out and explore this area because of course it is a very, very special place. Some people call it a smuggling 